Assalamu alaikum my dear students, hope you are all fine, you are okay. I have a kind request for all of you, stay safe, stay at home and cooperate with the teachers, cooperate with the students, cooperate with each other so that we will make this online virtual teaching successful. And also I would like to uh, congratulate and I would like to appreciate the Dupin administration for making this, uh, for facilitating the online teaching and inshallah we will do it, we will be successful. So let me remind you um, uh, about our learning outcomes which we have completed till now. So first one, surface, surface tension and capillarity. Number two, we were discussing about uh, polymers, types of polymers and uh, classification of polymers uh, and chain growth polymerization, step growth polymerization then we have uh, explained the polydispersity index after this, if you remember, we have started thermodynamics in thermodynamics, we were discussing what is thermodynamics is the branch of science which deals with uh, which, which deals with uh, heat, energy, work down, the relationship uh, the relationship between heat and and mechanical energy, electrical energy, chemical energy, all this stuff. Then we were discussing in general the, the thermodynamic deal with system and surrounding. So when I say system, system is part of the universe of which is under study. And surrounding this is the rest part of the universe, rest part of the universe uh, interconnected with the system. If you remember, I have given you one simple example about system. Like if I bring a cup of tea from the cafeteria, then I will keep it on table in my, cl in my classroom. So what will happen? So I will not take this tea, I will just continue my class. If this tea will stay like this on table, after half an hour, after 20 minutes, it will be cooled down. Why? Because uh, the heat has been released from this cup of tea. So it is just a simple example for system. So when I say the part of the universe which is under study, it means if the cup of tea, hot cup of tea is system, so what is surrounding? The classroom. So heat has dissipated from the cup, it went to surrounding. So this is system surrounding relation. There is boundary, boundary is the medium through which this heat is released. Heat was released from the cup of tea. Then we were discussing about the types of um, system. We were saying generally we have three types of system. Isolated system, uh, we have closed system, we have open system. We have, we have given some examples also for this. Then I, have, I, I was explaining, uh, explaining you the laws of thermodynamics. First law of thermodynamics, I said it is the relationship between heat, energy and work. Energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but it can be changed from one form to another form. Now I have a simple question for you. If energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but it can be changed from one form to another form, then why we do have energy crisis? So please write the answer of this question and send it to me. Okay? I will be more, it will be my pleasure to, to read the answers. Now second law that I was discussing about it is the relation, it is related to entropy, like entropy of the universe is increasing continuously. So I have explained it very well in the class. Then we were discussing about third law of thermodynam thermodynamics uh, <coughs> at absolute zero degree temperature, the entropy of a perfectly crystalline substance is zero. Then we were discussing about the zero to law. Zero to law is related to thermodynamic, the, the thermodynamic equilibrium and the temperature. Now, uh, then I told you we have, to, we have to give a detailed explanation of first law of thermodynamics. If you see, first law of thermodynamics. So we have given some equation for this. <coughs> the general equation of our first law of thermodynamics. This delta U, this is change in internal energy. This Q, it is heat. W is work done. So if you remember, 
Now we uh, uh, we were discussing about their sign convention. And sign convention means this Q, this if it is endothermic reaction, what does it mean? Heat absorber. Heat absorber. So the sign for Q will be Q will be positive. If it is exothermic reaction, means heat released. So the sign will be minus. Now what about W? W is work done. So another thing is work done by the system. So it will be positive. So if I say, yeah, we can say like this, W work done will be positive. If it is work done on the system, negative. So we have to use all these sign conventions to explain some problems. So let us go one by one. Let me discuss some examples here to 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 final figure out how this sign convention is uh, how to identify how to recognize the sign convention and how to solve the problems how to calculate internal energy of the system. So internal energy is the total amount of energy contained in a closed system. So it may be quite kinetic energy plus potential energy plus electrical energy the sum of all these energies within a closed system that is the internal energy so now if we have problem so we have to figure out how q is positive when q is negative when w is positive when w is negative it is just a sign convention so we have to figure out to understand in the problem how to solve problems related to this so let me show you some exercises then I will give some practice problems related to it uh, so that we can uh, figure out and we can be good, we can be master in this, uh, in this topic. So now if we will go through, go for exercise now, what is written here? 1500 joule of heat is added to a system. If you see here, it is added and it is heat, it means Q, is added to a system and 1000 joule of work work is done by the system so when it is done so work done by system is positive uh, heat added is positive so let us start let us use the rule solution we know delta u is equal to q minus w this is the first law thermodynamics equation for this now let us see what is q this q it is equal to 1500 joules but it is added it means it is positive what will be w so it is done by system it means it is also positive so now put all these put these two values in this equation we will get delta u is equal to it is equal to let me put the value directly q 1000 minus so it will be plus 1000 so if you see plus minus will be minus du will be equal to 1500 minus 1000 it will be 500 joule so <coughs> joule is a unit of internal and joule is a unit of heat work and energy so this is the answer for first equation. So what does it mean? It means internal energy of the system increases by 500 joule in this equation. Now let us go to another equation. 2000 joule of heat is added, again added to a system and 2500 uh, joule of work is done on this system. This is different. So if you see here Q, it is Q heat and if you see work done W. So let me figure out here. So Q is equal to plus 2500 joule and work done is equal to, uh, it is on, so 2 minus 2500 joule. 
So if now this is two thousand, this is two thousand joule. Volt is two thousand five hundred joule. So let me apply the equation. Delta U is equal to Q minus W. So if I put the values here, Q will be two thousand minus. So this what will be the answer? This two thousand minus minus is plus. It will be two thousand five hundred. The answer will be four thousand. 500 joule. What does it mean? So in this equation, in this uh, uh, exercise, the internal energy of the closed system increases by uh, 4,500 joule. Now, if I change the the the, the another uh, the same exercise by another way, let me figure out. Let me give you another exercise. I will make another exercise from the. If we just do this here, I will write. So let me give give you some practice exercise for our homework. Suppose we just do here 2,000 joule of heat. I will write here. Suppose 3,000 joule of heat. Now here is added. I will write here release. Release it. In a system, it is released from a system, and suppose here is two thousand five hundred. I will write here two thousand joule of work. Joule of work is done is done on this system. On the system. So, what is the what is the change in internal energy? This is one exercise. If I give you another exercise like this, this is for. For practice, if I write here, suppose 500 joule of heat is released from a system, and 200 joule of work is Work is done, not on. I will write here by the system. So calculate change. Calculate change in internal energy. These two exercises are part of our practice.